Hey everybody, you welcome back to my channel. I will be reacting to Shadow vs. Sasuke. And this is the bit because as you see number uh my reaction to the first one. This is the second one. I'm not I I didn't move or anything. I just mainly skipped to the next just went on to the next video and do that and get that over with. So I wanted to do it say tonight. Because either way, in the daytime I do much better reactions than at night. Plus some of you probably saying or probably someone's gonna say, Oh yeah, why don't you record in the daytime? One, that's I can't because I I had to go to school. Two, the only way I can do that is whenever I'm off. And three, if you're gonna say, Oh yeah, just do it on the weekend then. Uh I'm pretty loud in the daytime. Plus, even, even so, with my parents, I had to watch my language, because even though if I do cuss, then that's going to be a problem, because I, I like it better when I'm, when I'm home alone or home with my brother, because I can freaking scream and shout and let it all out. But anyways, shout out versus Sasuke. Uh, depending, I don't know what I just did. Uh, depending on which version we're using for Shadow, we could use Game Shadow, Arch. Um, of course, they're not going to use the Archie series. Game Shadow, Comic Shadow, the TV show. I didn't, but even though I did not know Shadow that much, all I know is that he has superhuman strength, speed, durability, stamina, have kit, has on um, chaos control, which can buffs or can freeze time. And then you also have super form, but even though you also have the homing, the homing attack and the spin dash. And you also have a super form that is, I'm not gonna say is invincible, but I'm gonna say is very, 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 very durable. And he, in his super form, he actually battles Solaris, but with Shadow and Silver, of course, super. And his best durability feat is from falling all the way from the moon to the earth. And and the only thing I lost, or the only thing that happened, was he lost all of his memories. Sasuke, I know he's from Naruto, and I do not know Sasuke very well. I haven't watched the Naruto series. Series, the only place I actually get it from is Russ's debates. Well, that's what I get from a good majority of characters. But yeah. I'm gonna side with Shadow because, he, of course, it can freeze time. Which I really doubt Sasuke. Wait, Sasuke. I swear, if I say the wrong name, the whole thing, the whole video. Oh yeah, his name is Da Da Da. Oh yeah, his name is Da Da. Oh wait, let me check. Oh, god damn it, god damn it. I called him the wrong name. But anyways, yeah, I don't really see Sasuke. I don't think Sasuke can actually freeze time. So yeah, I mean that, and because. It's, I know they're both cocky, cocky and, oh yeah, they're both cocky, of course. Plus, even though, again, with Chakra, well, you don't know Naruto, whoever's not a Naruto fan or don't watch Naruto, Chakra is mainly key, but a little bit different, mainly, instead of, oh yeah, your all your key is depleted. Um, you can still fight, so that's the same thing with Chakra, but with Chakra, you can do special jutsus and moves. And it's mainly chakra. I mean, of course, it's Naruto. I mean, yeah, they can't fight without chakra, but they also need chakra because that's how they do all these cool moves. Plus, even though I feel like if Sasuke don't really have chakra, I feel like he's more vulnerable because mainly, of course, everything needs chakra. Well, almost everything needs chakra. But that, right now. Pikachu! Pikachu versus Sombrella. Ichigo versus Dante. Charger versus the screen! God damn it, Charger! He's too powerful! The 
they say competition brings out the best in all of us. This is because rivalry isn't hate, it's partnership in disguise. If you want to give it your all and be your best, you need a rival. Shadow has brought out the best for Sasuke, Everybody needs a rival. Sasuke has done the same for Naruto. But instead of focusing on what we already know, it's time to enter the unknown between these two counterparts. It's time to rewind this Rumble. Rumble. Many people write off both characters as edgy counterparts to the main protagonist. And while on the surface they're level wrong. that statement does have some truth to it, look between the Again, lines and you'll see there is so much more to both of these heroes. Shadow started his days as an experiment of Dr. Robotnik, not the infamous Ivo Robotnik, but his grandfather, Gerald. The original intention of Project Shadow was to provide ways to develop cures for diseases, to create the ultimate life form. Due to government corruption, <laughs> that's a lie. the project took dark oh, turns, that's not and lie, Shadow was he forced didn't fulfill that. Life of warfare and mistrust. Sasuke's origin also a <clears throat> tragedy. His very own brother holds the carnage of slaughtering Sasuke's entire clan. Because of this, Sasuke has made it his mission to seek vengeance for all the innocent lives lost. Both characters were looked at as villains or threats to society at first. Same. Shadow was brainwashed and used as a biological weapon against the planet, and Sasuke was branded as an international criminal due to going rogue and assaulting others irrationally. But time and reason is a healer of all wounds, and today both Sasuke and Shadow are trusted members of their Get teams. The they are also quite valuable to their teams, as we are about to explain their powers and abilities. With his chaos control, Shadow can bend small gaps of reality and warp it to his will. He can stop time, manipulate matter around Called him, it. and teleport such matter to any destination he pleases. He can even use chaos control to heal himself and give himself physical upgrades. Oh, physical, I forgot about the Shadow is capable of nearly matching Sonic's ability in both speed mm. and power. While there is some inconsistency about how fast the two are compared to each other, Shadow has admitted that Sonic is faster between the two of them. Sasuke was intersected with the Cursed Seal of Heaven. When this curse is active, Sasuke's own chakra gets replaced, in turn increasing his strength and speed. He can use all five basic natural transformations, fire, wind, lightning, earth, and water. These are self-explanatory. If you don't know what those are, fireballs, with I feel bad for you. Lightning balls, so on and so forth. Most people only have affinity with just one, maybe two. Sasuke can use all five as well as yin release. Unlike the element-based releases, yin the release? yin one is spiritual-based. Sasuke is iconically known for a Sharingan, which literally translates to copy with wheel eye. Basically, really? the Sharingan allows Sasuke to physically see Chakra, have extreme senses to the point of exact perception, and allows him to copy nearly any jutsu he sees. With this, Sasuke but can quickly memorize his opponent's fight use patterns. He Sasuke uses also has upgraded sight senses beyond this to allow him to send hallucinations towards his opponents and has access to teleportation. When hmm. it comes to conventional weapons, Sasuke is highly skilled with his sword and blade wielding in general. Oh. Shadow, on the other hand, prefers more of a modern approach to weaponry with his access to many military-grade firearms, grenades, and a motorcycle. This, however, only really yeah. covers their base abilities. Both characters have access to more dangerous ways of combat. Shadow, of course, has the mighty Super Shadow. Super Shadow can fly, travel faster than light speeds, has increased durability, and a stronger grasp at chaos control. Sasuke yeah. can release his Susano. Sasuke's Susano is a huge suit of chakra armor that Sasuke can control as if he was an actual giant ninja. Both of these upgraded forms Mo. are extremely Girl, I'm a a giant to me, ninja. but Shadow and Sasuke share somewhat similar weaknesses, which is mainly energy mm. depletion. If Sasuke burns through his chakra, his Tusano form would not be able to sustain itself, leaving Sasuke at a huge disadvantage. And yeah. if Shadow's super form runs dry, or if his chaos control goes out of control, he too can lay down his guard and become an open target. Shadow, the rival of Sonic, and Sasuke, the rival of Naruto, have learned many great lessons when naturally going up against their competition. Both characters are huge risk takers, and neither of them fear danger. The only real difference between the two is that after tonight, one will go down as a victor, and the other will experience true extermination. Uh, it is now time we set ourselves a circumstance. The location of this battle will take place in the outskirts of the Hidden Leaf Village with no preparation. This will give Sasuke a home court advantage, but without any preparation, they are on equal footing in terms of mental stability. And hmm. now that the circumstance bar has okay. finally loaded, it's time to rewind Rumble!
I've been beaten up by our Romans. Great. Who are you? I am the ultimate life form. Okay, where did that sound familiar? Oh, I was gonna say it was over. Oh yeah, you also had the shotgun get to guy. Well, isn't that a shocker? Play my own. No, not the not the inhibit inhibitor ring. Oh my god, such such a bad timing for that. Yeah. Oh yeah. Naruto, do not jump in. Ooh. This totally rocks. Come on, Shadow. Come on, Shadow. I'm so sorry about that, guys. My brother, he just... He just loved to come that random moment and... Just... Yeah. But let's get back. Screw your arrows! Will he be all silent? Oh no. Get sucked in. Holy shit. No. Don't hurt the sword. I really hope you enjoyed that animation. And if you did, special thanks to the newest team member of Team Animation Rewind, Dead Graphic. He's a really underrated animator and deserves more attention. We did yet another Sonic themed fight to celebrate Sonic Forces, and to continue that celebration, be sure to check out Sonic U vs. Cold Steel on the Cartoon Fight Club series at the Animation Rewind channel. The yeah. previous Rewind Rumble was Dark Sonic vs. Goku Black. If you enjoy all the effort put into Rewind Rumbles, please consider supporting our team on Patreon, as that is the best way to help us moving forward. Yeah. Stay tuned for the post analysis and at the end of this video to go find support out who's fighting next. Go support the Patreon. In mine too. Why's a why's a clip of um Sonic Forces? Yes, Shadow wins, and you can thank Sonic Forces for coming in the nick of time to secure his win. With God that in it. mind, this segment does contain spoilers for Sonic Forces, so okay. continue watching this video at your own risk. If you want to skip this part and just see who's fighting next, you're free to do so. Before we nitpick all the small categories, Sonic Forces gives us one big cojona that puts Sonic characters in a league of their own. And before this gets wank-like, the villain Infinite nor his main power source, the Phantom Ruby, is not infinite in power. Otherwise, Damn, Sonic you know? and friends would have been doomed. And believe it or not, Base Sonic beat Infinite in a fight. Well, he wasn't alone. He did have help from those Sonic OCs that you could create in the game. Regardless, they were both in their base forms. Sonic and the OC was. Infinite was charged up, yet Sonic won. But that's not Stupid. because Infinite is weak. It's just that Base Sonic has gained a lot of new upgrades. In the game itself, Sonic even states he gets more powerful every second. And 
I won't take that literally word for word, but it does make sense that Sonic, like many other characters, do get stronger over time. Which is why modern Sonic is so much more powerful than classic Sonic, and why Sonic Forces should be the most powerful game Sonic to date. The same yeah. rules should apply to all Sonic heroes, Shadow included, and Shadow specifically, since he can scale closest to Sonic more than any other character in this. Hey guys, do you universe. think Sonic Forces this is actually? To know because the Phantom Do you guys actually think the since um Sonic Forces out? Do you think Sonic can actually win some of the other? Uh, cartoon fight clubs, for example, car okay, no, not, not Goku, of course. Well, Mar mm. like, uh, uh, I don't know, I can't remember, it's been a while, but yeah, do you think, do you, I actually think Sonic actually has a chance against now with all these people, well, all these anime characters, fictional characters? Comment down below if you do. He has the power to destroy and wipe out entire stars. Eggman made it clear that the star would swallow up the whole planet and kill everyone. But really? the Sonic OC used the Prototype Ruby to wipe it away. Prototype Rubies are weaker than the pure Phantom Ruby, and yet it still had the power to destroy that star. And before we move on, I need to let the naysayers and doubters know that this does make the Phantom Ruby star level. I know that some people will say that that star in specific was a bit too small, but if you know anything about stars, the smaller a star is, the more powerful it yeah. is. That's why white dwarf stars, which are the smallest type, are also the strongest and burn the hottest. Big reds are the biggest, but they're also the weakest. And when stars become so small to the size of a marble, they turn into black holes, which are even stronger than stars. So the hmm. smaller a star is, the stronger it is. Yeah, so of course. if yeah, anything, that's because obvious. the star was small, it should be considered more of an upgrade than a downgrade. The average star burns 600 million tons of hydrogen per second. But okay, smaller then. stars can burn more than three times as much, yet we'll still use the average one for easy math. With that okay. in mind, the Phantom Ruby should be able to scale to the energy production of an average star. It took a supercharged base spin dash from modern Sonic, classic Sonic, and the OC to destroy the original Phantom Ruby. And to lowball Sonic, we can assume that all characters put equal effort into destroying the Ruby, even though Sonic probably put most of the load, we can just assume it's all yeah. equal just for the sake of lowballing. This would make all characters multi-planet plus level. It wouldn't be star level because it took multiple characters to do it, but multi-planet plus would be a safe rate to put this feat at. Yeah. Multi-planet plus Sonic is something that Shadow can at least be on par with. If you don't want a direct scale since Sonic is slightly more powerful, Shadow at the very least should be very close to that multi-planet plus level of at power. Least two to, uh, at least two times. We can drop the plus if level. you consider Sonic Big a little two, bit stronger. Least. And in the corner on screen now, you can see the best speed and strength feats from both characters, but this multi-planet level base Sonic should be enough to put Sasuke out of reach at his at best moon level or even generous planet level Sasuke, and that's generous. Yeah. Moon level Sasuke, of course, does come from scaling to moon level Naruto, and even moon level Naruto is a very dangerous debate in its own, because that moon isn't exactly like the moon of our real universe. Yeah. It's a so, hollow moon, you and don't we don't know, know the exact like, size like, of it. Yeah. And some people can even argue planet level Naruto, depending on who you scale Naruto to. And even then, if we go all the way and say single planet level, it's got nothing on multi planet level. And that was just base shadow. Let's talk about My that God. super form, shall we? If we no. use this Phantom Ruby destruction Please feat no. and tackle a 1000% super form increase, who knows how powerful Supersonic slash Super Shadow could be? This could is be even beginning we to factor chaos control. I don't know, Shadow star level maybe? Weapons. Yes, Sasuke has teleportation abilities, but since both can teleport and both can teleport objects, this could very likely cancel each other out. Likely, Sasuke yeah, it does. heavily on his chakra, and when he's burnt out, he can become a huge liability. While Shadow is much better in his super form, I'll take a no-energy base Shadow over a no-energy chakra-free Sasuke any day of the week. Mm. Since Shadow can naturally replenish himself thanks to his gene-repairing anatomy that was given to him during his time in the labs. And I can break down the other stats in each of the boxes into specifics, but that would just add insult to injury, since this Phantom Ruby feat alone would seal the deal. Do we really care how slightly stronger or faster one of these characters are when this one single feat does the sail pitch for us? Without Sonic Forces, this might be a different conversation, but you know what? I gotta include the information that Sonic Forces presents to me. Sorry. Sasuke, but the winner of this round is think Shadow. Without Sonic Forces, Shadow 1, 
Well, we will combine the likes of that episode as well as this episode for a new rematch idea, which would be a two-on-two -two between Base Sonic and Base Shadow pre-forces versus Sasuke and Naruto. Ooh. This combo would only need 5,000 likes in total, meaning we're 4, just 4,000 4, likes away. So if this video reaches 4,000 likes or the combo of both videos reaching a full 5,000 likes, the two-on-two -two rematch between Base Sonic and Shadow pre-forces versus Why Sasuke don't you guys want to see that fight? Happen. Why? Also, don't forget to comment down your own ideas for either Rewind Rumble, Cartoon Fight Club, or any of the Animation Rewind series, and stay tuned as you find out who's fighting next. Who's um, fighting next? next episode of Rewind Rumble. R R R R R Rewind, Rewind Rumble. Why the Pure creative hell? Pure creative filter to show what gets Why? removed from water in only 30 minutes. No one cares. Why are there so much swords? <laughs> okay. Link, where's the sword? Didn't that fight? No! No! No way! Please don't tell me. This is the fight I'm thinking of right now. But a swordsman free for all. That's right. Up next, we have the swordsman free for all. The best swordsman that fiction has to offer. Now, this will be the first free for all of the Rewind Rumble series, so expect to see this either late November or early December. One of the two, not exactly sure, but it's going to take at least the rest of this month or most of this month to finish. So, okay. about at 15 days at the very least, upwards to 30 days. Thursday, November 23rd is Thanksgiving, so that might be a good time to upload this. But one thing yeah. is for certain, I'm not going to rush this episode's production. Or Please don't. Of Rewind Rumble Please. For that matter. Never so do that. The waiting period might be long. It's only for the better. So please make sure you're subscribed and click that notification bell since uploads on this channel usually only happens once in a while. Hopefully by around the fourth or fifth episode, I could have a set in stone upload schedule. But for now, it's like I said, just do not do an animation rewind. It's better to have no schedule than being scheduled. Please consider supporting being the scheduled. animation rewind team on Patreon or through the PayPal tip jar. It does help us immensely, and animation on YouTube is tough in general. If you can't yeah. do that, at the very least, please spread the word about this new channel. This channel only has 10,000 subscribers. It really does need to grow so it can sustain itself in the long haul. Yeah. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it. I'm Animation Rewind, and I'll fast forward to you later. Bye. Don't ever rush. Don't ever set a schedule, because trust me on this, it's not. Nah. Mm. But yes, guys, that would do it for this video. If you like this video and you like my reaction, call, please punch the like button, phone, computer, tablet, wherever you watch this video, punch that screen, subscribe to my channel, comment down below what do you want me to react to, and I will quit. Whenever I get the chance, but without further ado, guys, peace out.